Hello everybody. Here we have a nice high-powered halogen desk lamp and it's really nice, really bright, uh, but it's a halogen and man you can feel the heat coming off of here and the plan is is we're going to convert it over to LED. Here's the view looking in at the bottom of the lamp. We can see the nice big bulb in there and we can see four metal clips that hold on the glass and uh, we'll go on in here and see what's going on. Here's a close-up of the bulb and it says Philips L3 and I googled that online and it seems that they call this a T3 halogen bulb comes in several different wattages but you can see it's the exact same uh, bulb here. These are my ideas for replacements. I went to AliExpress, which is a, a Chinese website that sells everything, and these are LED modules. They're, they're both 30-watt modules uh, rated for 110-volt input, and they have the smart chip built in to where they don't need any external power supply. You can see where it says L and N, and where it says uh, N and L, you just uh, put wires up there with 110 volts on there, and uh, the, uh, they're good to go. They, they have all the power conversion built in. Now, the interesting thing is these things, they're, they're mounted on a, an aluminum backing plate, and it's just a matter of attaching these things to some sort of a, a piece of aluminum to act as a heat sink because uh, the lifespan goes down considerably if they go over the temperature of a 70 degrees centigrade, which is pretty hot. You know, you'd kind of burn your finger if you tried to t touch that or it'd be very uncomfortable to hold your finger on there. So it's a, a fairly high temperature. We, we don't want to get too high. And uh, you see, these are 30 watt modules. They come in all these different wattages. Like I could have had these same sizes, you know, something like maybe 100 watts, but 30 watts is a lot of watt light. That's, uh, you know, the equivalent to several hundred watts of incandescent lighting. It'll actually be much brighter than the bulb uh, that's replacing. And then it'll have the added advantage of all the light being pointed the direction you want it, pointed down, one direction, instead of uh, going in 360 degrees and with you know half of it being wasted. So this uh, should be uh, a very interesting uh, replacement. And uh, I was guessing on the physical size, and we can see that this long one I had, oh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it to fit in there, where the short one here looks like it's gonna fit. It's time to put the thinking cap on and try to figure out how I can find some sort of a heat sink. Now I notice that there's already a nice piece of aluminum in here and uh, it's very possible I can remove uh, those two ceramic sockets and put something in here and use that. And that's maybe a kind of a plan B because I found a plan A that looks really awesome. This is a, a Pentium 4 heat sink and uh, nobody seems to use Pentium 4s anymore. You know, uh, anyway, uh, I think it'll fit in here. I may have to cut off a, a little bit. I'm gonna see about mounting this in here, drilling some holes in there, and attaching uh, one of those light modules. Okay, I did the four screws that are holding on, on the top unit. We can kind of see this thing comes apart pretty easily. I'm sure you'll be able to figure that out. Well, if I do just a little cutting, I think that this thing is going to fit. Okay, here's the heat sink. I drilled some holes in the heat sink and screwed down the, the LED module to the heat sink. Took a, a soldering gun and soldered on some wires, one to the, the black one to the L and the white one to the neutral. And now I'm ready to hook everything up. So here we go. I, I, I stuck the heat sink up here. I was wondering how to mount it. And it's, uh, pr uh, I was actually able to take this old piece of metal, jam it into the fins, and it holds it very securely. The wires come out, I use wire nut here and a wire nut here. And then we can just see what happens. Well, like, the light comes on, let's take a look at it. Boy, that's really bright. And uh, anyway, let's uh, put the rest of the stuff in here, put the glass on the bottom and the, the metal on the top and uh, call it good. Look, looks like when I put the glass back in here, so everything's all, all together. Let's take a look at the finished product. Well, here's the finished lamp. Let's turn around. Nice, huh? Now, one thing I kind of wished I did now 
is I have a non-dimmable bulb. So let's see, let's see what happens when I turn down the, the, the brightness. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it has a very, it's like almost like a, a 30 hertz flicker. So I'm just turning that. Okay, just barely on. Now it's on brighter, brighter, brighter. Now it's on all the way. Once it's on all the way, it's fine. But if it's not on all the way, it does. It is very annoying. But still, it's a, it's a beautiful lamp. And now I, I don't have to worry about a hundred watts of uh, heat being dissipated by this thing. Eh, just a fun little project, you know. And what the heck? It costs two dollars. You know, two dollars in parts.